I've decided I'd just like to loosen up in between doing some of these roller paintings and bigger abstracts and, uh, uh, and acrylics. A little bit of watercolour again, only this time, when, uh, this time I'm going to use the best of all three of these. We'll take this lovely sky here, that the light shining through, the cloud coming up through the mountains here. It's a bit too dark down there, so we'll add that um, base into it with the lake and the heather and the little white house in the distance on that one. And I've already put a little bit of masking fluid here to dry off for that little bit of white later, although I could do it with white gouache. So we'll have a bit of fun and we'll use these um, Russian watercolours again as a nice and strong for this. Alright then, let's have a bit of fun with this watercolour. The masking fluid is now dry. That's a reasonable masking fluid, this one. Well, that the rubbish we'll be using. And I'm going to start off with dipping my brush straight into the yellow ochre in a minute. I just want to just put a little bit of water on all of the colours that I need to use. So I'll be using that many colours actually, I'll probably be keeping to quite a, a limited palette with uh, this painting. I'm going to just wet the paper first all over the sky. And I want uh, a lot of wet into wet in this, really lovely, hairy, soft, furry effects in the sky, which we'll do first. Just mark things very, very lightly as you see. I'm going to leave this area fairly light here. Let's start off with some very light yellow. Start off with just a little bit around here of that lemon yellow, just to get the effect of light all the way around there, so up through here, I'm leaving it white in the middle. I'm going to go to my warmer yellow. A uh, lovely bit of yellow ochre, a bit warmer around there, that edge. Right out, let yeah, that come through here, coming up into there, right out through there. I'm going to take a little bit of purple, just drop that in here and there, yes, for the moment. Want some, what I actually want is some light rose there, that's better. Rose into the purple, just to come out and round these edges down here. Very light at the moment, I'm going to suddenly go stronger in just a moment. All the way through down there, taking this yellow ochre and just letting that have a wash of that yellow ochre and right through here. Just getting these wet into wet effects. I don't want the paper to dry out yet, I want to keep it nice and wet. See the lovely effects we're getting there. Next, I want to start working on some purple greys. So we'll take a bit of burnt sienna and uh, ultramarine blue. If I can find ultramarine blue in this, and make us a grey colour. I'm getting the right grey there, so it's a nice blue grey. That comes right up and starts to come into this edge, all fluffy, like this. And just let that trickle through, nice and light here, back right through the sun there, Turn through behind, coming out slightly into uh, rays of light here. So I'm going to drag out in just a moment as well with my dry brush technique. So I'll take that now, we'll just drag that out into here and make a little bit of the dry brush technique so we lift out some of that paint just to get the effect of light coming down here. You see how we can do that with the edge of the brush, dry brush, just dragging it out use tissue foils as well. Right, going stronger, keeping that same warm brown grey. Just letting it come through here carefully, softly at the moment. As you gather I've got a nasty cold at the moment so to share that with anybody. I haven't been teaching for a bit today. That comes right down to here, through 
some lovely blues there later on that hill. Now I've got a bit stronger, so I'm going to take the same brown, the same blue, but make them a bit stronger. That's quite strong now. I'm going to make this much, much stronger up here. Bring that cloud right down through. I'm going to be starting to put some bluer colours in there as well. I do want this nice wet into wet effect. A bit bluer, a bit stronger, a bit more warmth into that still. Really quite strong colours now coming into here. Let me let these dark clouds come through. A bit more blue in there. It's quite blue over here, especially around this area. As they come right down through here, yeah, a bit lighter over there. It's coming dark into the mountains here. I'm going to blend that down in just a moment. More blue in that still. That blue comes right up through here. Really, it's quite dark across there. Got these blue greys coming up through here. Okay. Much, much stronger pigment over here. I really want to get it. Much, much stronger colour. The purple into it now. I want to get a really strong dark. Just tick, tick, tickling with the end of the brush to find these shapes. There we go. Right, that'll leave with the sky. What I'll do before I carry on is just take out a little bit more of the light of these actually. I just want to come a little bit lost there. I'll just drag out a little bit more of these rays of light coming through here. There we go. That's better. But I don't want that colour in there at all. Pretty light there. There we go, that's better. Right, now down to this here. here Got a very light lemon yellow cloud coming through, which goes right through into there. It just catches up into these. I can put water under the wet paint now, it almost cauliflowers, it just makes a like lifting of the paint I can use right up through there. We'll let that just softly come down and in. Now, I want a harder edge there, but a softer edge here. So I want to keep that bit there wet. And it comes down from the yellow here into a slight purple. So we'll let that come up there and fur up into there again to get the feeling of mist. A little bit more red there. And on that edge, play against the colours down below. That's going up through here as well. Look at that misty effect going on right through to the cloud coming in down there. Up here. And there it goes bluer. I won't do that yet. Soft and misty coming down to there. Let's let that dry off now. Now I want to get a bit of blue. Do a very a nice cobalt blue and come into here to start to get this hill behind here. Just want to let that come right up there to the to the top, down through. Make that darker in just a moment, right down to here. And I want that blue going on right through here as well. A little bit stronger, right down through here. I'm going to put glazes over that later. That should be a little bit stronger, so a wee bit of blue, a little bit of the earlier dark, and we'll just come into that a little bit stronger. There we 
go. That comes down through there. That blue starts to come around the top of this mountain top here. Nice and misty. Get the feel of that there. Come down through. We'll let that dry off a bit. Once that's dry, I can start working on the foreground. Plenty of fun, that's quick and easy. Now I want to have the light shining down through here, so I'm going to take my lemon yellow again. Just let that come down here. A bit of the white showing through into these cracks and crevices of the water there. Take some of the warmer yellow again. We're reflecting what's going on above, remember. Let me just come through. A bit of dry brush work here in a moment. It's soft. Really soft effects. A bit of dry brush right through here. Just gleam through. How strong is that there? Yeah, that's going into here. These lovely PT areas. There we go. And now here I've got some quite dark, almost green greys of the trees, which I want to bring into there. Very dark here, just to blob them in there again, let them go soft against the, the background a bit. Get some feeling of the trunks going on there, and then some of the darks into there again as well. working. And this is all now starting to dry off. In a moment I'm going to come back and put some uh, wet over dry there. I'm not quite ready yet. A bit greener here. I want a, a base coat here of some greens and blues coming in right through down to here into this bit before I put much more dark in there as well. There we go, now let's put these darker colours. A bit warmer, darker. And there are some lovely purples and mauves going on here. Just come out into the water all the way down here. Let those spread and make um, grasses and weeds out of them. One goes back here in the background. And we'll let those come into the trees. See what we can do with the wet in wet. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Those colours come right into here. Much, much warmer here in the foreground. Some dry brush work. Just start to use the tip of the brush to flick in some ideas of brushes here and I'll make these a bit sharper still in a moment I just want to get the basic effects of light for the minute Right, well. 
So I think that there. Just need to dry off a fraction now before I continue. This is still, yeah, still very wet there. I need that to be a bit drier. So we'll just wait for it to dry. Time to start working up some of these uh, darks in the background here. Let's take a bit of uh, a little bit of black into that. It's be quite dark in the background. A little bit of burnt here and just warm it up a bit. Not too dark straight away, but we're looking at this area here, you see, where these hills, the mountains come up behind here. I've had a little bit of purple into that, I think, as well. A bit of purple into that, there we go, that's a nice warm, warm dark. And we just want to pick up the edge of this mountain as it comes down here. A little, bit, a little bit strong yet, we'll make it a bit lighter in just a moment. We'll bring it all the way down there, into there, to bring out these <coughs> darks as they trundle down through. A bit more purple in. And we'll start to bring out these darks in the mountains there. I'm going to put a bit more blue into those in a moment as well. Just want to work this up at the minute, so we'll just get these slightly darker. Shadows in first, like that, and then here again. I want to just use this thinly to get the feeling of the edge of the mountain coming up here, comes along there, down here, and it sort of vanishes behind there, comes right down into here, through the shadow there. We've got little bits of the the light of the hill showing there, and misty down through here, darker by far down here, like those, the darks come up into there, a bit darker as it comes under the mist there, right down through here. Blend into this bit here, coming around the hills, a bit darker there. Now, what's a bit more of that blue going on to these? A bit more of that blue, ultramarine blue. Just glowing in amongst these shadows. And these very dark colours happening down between these trees here a bit. So we uh, work some of these even darker colours in. A bit of green into it maybe as well. Just to get the darks really working here. Wet into wet there. Feeling of a few pine trees and things coming down. light shines across there beautifully. These darts come up and through here, right down into there. Let's work those back a bit. Get the feeling of the distant mountains there. And here where that's just glowing through a bit we'll put a bit of dark into here. And we'll just soften that in all the way through here as the mist comes in and, and through this sort of fog here in the background there. So what we'll do there is now take a bit of clean water and just soften those in. They become misty at the edges. Like that. A little bit more ultramarine back in some of these as well here. A bit more of that ultramarine going on. Those hills. Let's look around here. And we'll take those same darks. So a bit of black, a bit of deep green. And let's look at some of these how these darks come into here. Down here amongst the bits of water. Here on the water's edge where the 
little rocks come all the way through from here. We'll uh, just play these against the lovely wet in wet and these harder edges now are going to make a much stronger rough against smooth effect um, which will give me the effect of the bank. I want to break this big push up a bit, I want it to be much drier now and stronger. A bit more warmth into it so we can get that on there. If I can use my big brush to be a bit more dry brush and use the tip of it to start to work in these foreground bits of mosses and to here as well and this will lead the eye in because it will give this feeling of detail in the foreground and going out of focus as it goes back which is what happens we tend to see things more closely more focused in the foreground and then as it goes back we lose the focus now once I get this reflection dry brush there a bit of little reflection of the mountain coming down here that across there to leave that bit lighter and through here as well the feeling of the reflection on the water and I just do a few verticals as well just to bring the reflection through got the feeling of water there And that picture is almost done. I think we could let it dry off a bit at that again. I want to come back and get that masking fluid off. Be a little bit stronger in just one or two of these foreground areas here too. And in the meantime, let's just have a look over here. If that's dry enough, we'll take away that masking fluid from there. And with a small brush, let's go back and look at that little house over there. Take some Deeper blue, a little bit of a deeper blue for the for the roof. We'll just put a bit of the roofs in there. If there's a wee house over there. the light, the little windows. Now let that dry down a bit. We should be able now to just put in some of these bits of darker warm colours here. These, these stones and things that are in the foreground. And it's fun isn't it? This is all it's meant to be. It's fun. There we are, I think that would actually do that one. Just a little bit of, of purple, blue over here, I'll just darken this down a bit here. There we are, that's better. Maybe touch a blue in that. A bit of dark on here maybe, just to pick up a few bits of old wood or stones just here. And there we go, a simple little watercolour just to loosen up, just to enjoy. So it simply shows what we can do just by slapping a few photographs together, doesn't it? And making a little scene for ourselves.